Hello everybody and welcome back to my piano moods. So today we are continuing the silent uh, silent moods. Yeah. Ooh, I think this day is going to be good. Silent nights. We need to move forward with this. Uh, Christmas is getting closer and closer. Uh, again, a quick reminder, the new album is coming out soon. Mythical Moods. You can find the track list and all the details in the description below and on my Facebook page link below facebook.com slash piano moods so uh, let's play the whole tune again from the beginning so that you can you know uh, you can remember where we are in the music And this is where I left you in the last video. Uh, we stopped on a spoiler for a D minor, Ray. And so what comes after that? So let's do it with one finger, just so you see the keys. These are the top keys of the chord. Again. So, what are we talking about here? What are these keys? So first we start with D minor. And actually here we are in, um, I don't know the term in English, but anyway, we are in between Re minor and Sol major. You see, that if I change this note, I'm just so close to these other uh, chords. So here I'm in Re minor. Here I am in between both keys. And here I'm in Sol major. So you see, this is a transition chord that allows us to change keys. So we're going here in Re minor, then we're going up here to an in-between chord. And since we're an in-between chord, the next chord is obviously be, gonna be another chord. And that's going to be Sol major. That's the final one. And Sol allows us to get back to Do. So you see, this is all uh, this is all maths actually. If you take a look at it closely, it's all maths. Um, now, let's go. Let's go back to it. Um, so that's the famous in between transition chord. And that's where we stop today. So now let's double the keys. So we're in D minor here. Here we're actually, this one is not played, but it's hinted at. And if I want to triple them, And here I recommend not tripling them again because we want fluidity and we don't want to have these uh, these weird... It just doesn't sound nice, so you want to do it fluidly. And that's how you finish. Now, just a quick uh, technique note. When you're playing the piano, your wrist is not supposed to be moving all that much. What's really moving is your fingers. Now, to show you, you don't play like, oops, let's go, let's go here. So you don't play moving your wrist like that. You actually only move your fingers. Your wrist is staying pretty still. And if you practice to play loudly with your fingers, 
moving, without your wrist moving, um, you will develop a bit more strength in your fingers and that'll help you to play better. Because playing the piano at a high level is, or even at a good level, requires a bit more strength in your fingers. And to practice that strength, one of the ways you can do it is playing loudly without moving your wrist. So um, this put aside, so this is where we stop today. And I'll give you the spoiler key for the next one. And um, the, yeah, the, the next video is going to be the last one because we're going to reach back. Uh, we're going to reach Do again as the final chord of the tune. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you do, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you don't, <laughs> please subscribe and <laughs> hit the down button. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Cheers, everybody.